Hello, beautiful mothers and fathers in Christ, standing for your child's healing from autism spectrum disorder. For God is not the author of disorder, but of peace. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. Today's post, or actually this is the second one today. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, autism symptoms healed for I can't read today. <laughs> Autism symptoms healed for my son by Jesus' stripes. I don't know why I can't read right now. I just had dinner, maybe a little drowsy now. Um, so I mentioned this in the last video I did, uh, the book review for Deborah McDerm McDermott's book, uh, Autism Healed. And I mentioned that I would try to get this out as my next video. So again, I am Dr. Waring. I'm the author of the Jesus Took Autism book series. It's available on Amazon.com. To get notifications, click that little bell and check all so you'll get them all. And this is just a little glimpse of the book series that I wrote. So let me go ahead and get to the next slide here. I am actually just going to read right from my book, no, the third book in the series, no, God didn't give you a child with autism. He gave you victory over autism through the power of the word. I'm reading from part two, um, and it's called A Letter from My Heart to Yours. And I decided for those visual people out there, and hopefully I can have time to do this all the time instead of just reading it, I pasted the text um, that I'm reading for you. So it's easy for you to follow along. Okay, let me read. Though my son's healing has been progressive, he is a different child than he was when I began writing. And I was in 2018. Um, the most severe systems gone. Symptoms healed, rage, aggression, destruction, blank affect. Severe OCD, repetitive behaviors, including speech. Severe sensory related hearing sensitivity that caused him physical pain in his body because of the effects on his nerves. Depression, severe pain sensitivity, body ticks. I want to pause right there and go back. When I'm talking about rage, aggression, destruction, you know, he would physically harm me, attack me. I know he didn't want to. He would just melt down and hurt me, hold on to me really tight, squeeze me until I would be bruised on my wrists. He would ram me. He would tear the house up, overturn the house, destroy the walls, color on the walls, dig into the walls until it went down into the, the drywall. And it was, not, I'm not talking minor things. My son's 20 now. And this was still going up until around, I don't even know, up until tw late 2019, some into 2020, even some, some of the lingering rage, aggression, destruction um, things. Blank affect, when I would used to, well, my son used to be, um, his face would be blank, empty, dark, vacant, like his eyes were empty and dark and just blank. And now he's, eyes are bright and shining. This face is bright and he expresses joy. He doesn't look empty and just like, hello, are you in there type thing? And um, he, the repetitive OCD, the repetitive speech was, you know, he would say the same things over and over again. He couldn't stop. He couldn't finish sentences. He would get halfway through and start over. It was torment. It would drive him crazy. Me too, because it would go on for hours sometimes. Um, the His hearing sensitivity that he was healed from by Jesus stripes was so severe and it caused him pain. He would say, you're hurting me. And he would like, my body hurts. He would say, um, I would literally have to speak to him most of the time in a whisper. Hello, how are you today? Sometimes my, I would whisper low and he would need me to go lower. I would have to take my voice down as low as possible. Or he would scream. He would rage. He would melt down. You're hurting my ears. And I would be whispering very quietly. And I would have to take my voice down to practically like almost inaudible. And he could hear me. But I mean, it would hurt my throat. It was extremely tormenting. Okay, so to the last word on this page, choreoform movements, which was... Uh, against his will, his body would do these dancing type movements when affecting his arms and legs. Um, he did not want to do these things, but he felt forced and compelled by the symptoms. Contorted, warped sounding speech from feeling forced to speak out of the side of his mouth. So, for example, I'll say a sentence and it would, he would 
have to push his mouth very hard over usually to think to the left for him. Yeah, I think so. And um, and he would be, I I I want I I I want what from Mac 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 Macaroni Roni and cheese. I mean, over and over and over again. He did not want to do that. He was verbal. He told me, and he could not stop, and it would drive him berserk. Sensory related motion car. Uh, Motion and car sickness, digestive and gut issues, too severe hygiene and toileting issues, sleep issues and disturbances, deliverance, I believe 100% from, I believe 100% some of the symptoms are caused by tormenting spirits. So there's been deliverance from tormenting type spirits. Um, there's also been a significant decrease in the ADHD and hyperactivity and impulsivity symptoms, as well as other sensory related issues. When he used to have Jesus, OCD, severe sensory overload and severe ADHD symptoms. We were nearly 100% homebound on a scale from one to 10. The OCD symptoms my son used to have was like 20. It controlled him completely. He could not stop check, checking things over and over again. He would just sit there and check one thing for hours. It was torment. Um, he literally couldn't focus enough to get ready. Couldn't stop checking things nor handle the sensory overload it took just to leave if we did leave our home it literally took him approximately five hours to get ready one time almost seven yes literally we'd often end up at our destinations 15 to 20 minutes before closing time resulting in more stress chaos and pressure he can now get completely ready in approximately one hour i glorify the name of the lord my god my heart is dancing now delighting in his goodness and that his word is only true thank you lord jesus thank you the Holy Spirit referred to my son's increased ability to reason and rationalize as awakenings. He's also significantly significantly less fearful overall, has much less anxiety, more flexibility regarding change, less agitation and offense, much calmer emotions, takes better care of his body, responds much more appropriately to circumstances, communicates significantly better, and has much improve reactions to almost everything our relationship is vastly better because we can calmly communicate more rationally and work out miscommunications with conversations not meltdowns and destruction of our home and that was his reaction to everything sometimes i had no idea what triggered him he would just i would breathe wrong or something and he would get angry and just start tearing things up and if i didn't have a smile on my face and i looked tired he interpreted it as I was angry at him and he would get mad at me and he would accuse me of being angry and not liking him. And I'd be like, honey, I slept three hours. I had to teach, um, you know, and uh, early this morning online and I barely slept. So what you're seeing is exhaustion. I'd have to explain everything. He would assume the worst and he would just, I wouldn't even know. It would just, it was just a nightmare. Um, I continue on. There are some symptoms whose healing has yet to manifest in the natural, but one ones I call healed. I continue to stand on the word in faith and believe with my heart. Um, his total head to toe healing is on its way soon and very soon. Hallelujah. So I'm going to now read and going backwards. I know that's weird, but this is just how I felt led to do it. I'm reading now from the same book. No, God didn't give you a child with autism. He gave you victory over autism through the power of the word. Chapter two, the spiritual affects the physical. So, the healing and deliverance occurred over time, you know, for my son. Therefore, this is a testimony of how we must never give up on God's word when healed. Sorry, when in a battle like this until we have what he says is ours by Jesus' stripes, my child was healed. If you also listen to the um, to the book review I did for Deborah McDermott's book, uh, Autism Healed, her youngest son, I can't remember the oldest son's time frame, but her youngest son, James, it from the time she believed the report of the Lord about her, his, his will that her children were healed, it took five years for his James, the youngest son, for his healing to manifest to the point where he lost the autism diagnosis. And there was even a point where he was doing better and then he had a severe regression during that time and he was actually worse than ever during that time. And I went through some similar things with my son where he would get way, way better and then he would go way down. It went up and down, up and down until those things went out in Jesus' name. So I continue to read now and gone forever, of course. Autism symptoms are intended by the evil one to afflict and bind children and parents. The enemy used my son as a vessel to torment me as well. I thought I'd go mad at times through sleep deprivation as the above behaviors would go on for hours, disrupting our lives 
The repetitive speech could also last hours at a time, listening to my son being used by the enemy to repeat phrases over and over, including when it was our bedtime torment and us both. Um, one of the above mentioned symptoms healed by Jesus' stripes for my son was head ramming. He had an overwhelming desire against his will to head ram. Often I was the enemy's target. He used to charge me like a bull, ram me with his head. And this is what he was bigger than me, you know, like man size <laughs> and grind the top of his head just below my collarbone. I would scream in absolute agony. And I've told some of my friends and prayer partners before. I have no idea how no one called the police believing that someone in this house is getting murdered. That's how much it was hurting. It hurt me when he would just ham ram me like that full force. I would scream in agony. Um, because uh, I'm you know, much smaller than him. Uh, sometimes these symptoms would go on days in a row with some relief here and there. He was not in his right mind nor in full control of his will, so I directed my anger and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God at the devil alone. Daily I commanded those spirits, and of course, you know, the symptoms, to go in Jesus' name, and they did over time. I don't make a doctrine out of progressive healing, but it can be the case. So keep on with the word of the Lord, moms and dads. Keep on. Do not waver. Keep on and stand until the symptoms fall. The symptoms go in the name of Jesus. Um, oh, I didn't realize that was my last page. Yes, because, you know, it's like when um, Peter walked on water, but then he saw the wind and the waves he took his eyes off Jesus and he sank. You know, that's what the enemy tries to do with us. When the symptoms fluctuate, those are like the storm, the raging seas. So we just say, peace be still in Jesus' name. We bind and rebuke those things that just command them to go. We speak the word of God to their bodies in the name of Jesus. And um, let me back up here. No, nope, I didn't do it properly. In book two, um, how to show healing from autism and other neuroimmune disorders. There are scriptural prayers that cover your child with the word, the sword of the spirit, which, which is the word of God from head to toe. And each prayer is paired with a spiritual warfare prayer called retake the land, taking authority and commanding those things to go as well. So um, bless God. I pray this blessed you. I am not moved. I am unfazed even by the fact that my son is 20 years old and I didn't take hold of the word of God and have faith from heart believing faith in his word and his will that by Jesus stripes, my son was healed until 2018. It does not affect my faith at all because Jesus says his name is resurrection and life. So I, we have come far, me and Jesus have come far together on this journey because I'm walking it out with him and he's led me every step of the way. And I believe for the rest of my son's healing all the, you know all the symptoms for the uh, the rest of the symptoms and all the symptoms to completely go for my son's health to be completely restored to what God intended for him to have that's his will for your son that's his will for your daughter or children some parents have more than one child with this terrible condition and it's not his will it's captivity for the entire family. It affects marriages. It affects siblings who are, you know, who don't have the condition. It takes all of the parents' time away from other children who don't get the attention they need. It just brings destruction on every side. It robs of finances. Um, and I can say in my situation as a single mom, the enemy has used uh, the symptoms of autism to rob me of years of the ability to work properly to earn properly. And that has stolen lots from me financially, but I also trust in the word of the Lord that he's a redeemer and he'll redeem and restore those things as well. I'm not going to faint. I'm not going to fear. I'm going to trust him to redeem it, to make up for that lost time. And um, so thank you so much for listening to this. I pray it blesses you. Do not fear when the symptoms fluctuate. Do not doubt the word of the Lord. That's just the enemy huffing and puffing like the big bad wolf, hoping you're, you'll um, let your house fall down by believing him. But if your house is built on the rock of the word of the Lord, it's like the brick house that he cannot blow down. So that's our stance. We, Our foundation, our house is built on the word and nothing can move us. 
glory to the Lord. Thank you for the emails and prayer requests and things that I get from you and videos. And I appreciate it very much. Um, I love you and believing God with you that by Jesus stripes, your children were healed for God is not the author of disorder, but of peace. First Corinthians 14, 33. Have a very blessed Thanksgiving. Bye.